Ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lira Alexander. If you're new, today I have a secret for you. Come close. Closer. You have complete creative control over your appearance. I've compiled seven steps to changing your appearance with the law of attraction. Believe it or not, you've attracted your present physical form and you have the ability to change it with the law of attraction as well. Since we were born, we've been storing and internalizing others' opinions of us. Some of us may have been told that we were beautiful children, while others may have heard comments like, he'll grow into his nose. Regardless of the connotation, all those statements and all those opinions about ourselves have formed and created the way that we look now. Those perceptions of us became our perceptions of ourselves and manifested into our physical form. Because those opinions have sculpted us, it's reasonable that we could be artists of our own physical appearance in our own reality as well. Now that we are conscious or awakened or beginning to awaken, we can take that power back into our own hands. Without further ado, let's get right into these seven steps to change your appearance, your physical appearance with the law of attraction. The first step is to believe that it's easy and possible to change the way that you look with the law of attraction. If you believe something is difficult, the universe will demonstrate that it is so. If you believe that it's easy, the universe will show you that as well. Because of that, you have to tell yourself often, it is easy to get the body that I want. It's easy to get the shape that I want. It's easy to grow my hair. It's easy to change my eye color. If we keep telling ourselves these little affirmations, we might actually start to listen and actually start to believe. The second step is visualization or daydreaming. Now we all know that this is a basic concept of the law of attraction, but to do this, you're going to have to visualize yourself looking the way you want to look in your head every single day. So whenever you think about yourself, and let's say you want longer hair, imagine yourself with longer hair and whatever thought that is connected to how you look in your head, see yourself with longer hair. If our perception of reality changes our reality, then we have to imagine that our appearance aligns with our desires. Step three, say the change that you want out loud to everybody, to yourself, without any desperation. Make it fun. Having a fun vibration will bring it to you much more easily. I have this one friend who, when we were younger, she was lacking in the bottom department. She was a really funny girl, she still is, and whenever anybody would comment on it, she would be like, what are you talking about? I have a big butt, I have a huge butt, and I kid you not, within a year, without doing anything other than saying this repeatedly, she could have easily won Best Booty Award and she still can. Another friend of mine would always be complimented on her amazing body. Instead of appreciating her body and appreciating herself, she chose to be humble in a way that was actually damaging to herself. Whenever anybody would compliment her, she would say, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm not pretty. And that was just her way of being humble and showing that she's not full of herself because she wasn't. However, she ultimately got a disease that completely changed her body and she does yearn for that old body now. She has awakened now and she's using these steps and telling herself that she's skinny and I tell her she's skinny all the time and she's going, she's steadily moving back to where she used to be. So basically, instead of complaining all the time about how your nose is big, for example, start saying to yourself and to others, even if you look delusional that your nose is small and cute. Step four, find a placebo. The placebo effect is a real phenomenon. It has been replicated time and time again in thousands of studies. A sick patient will receive a fake medicine like a sugar pill and they will start to heal just because they expected that pill to help them. Science can't really explain this, but in spirituality, we do know that believing you can cure yourself can cure you. There's a raw vegan YouTuber that I watch often. I think it's fully raw, Christina. And she told everybody that her eyes changed color from brown to green when she went raw vegan. Now, I totally, I've seen her video and I totally believe that that did happen to her. And I also believe that she's giving people a very powerful manifestation tool, which is this placebo effect. Telling yourself that doing something will make something else happen is a very powerful technique. So you want to change your eye color? Eat more fruit. So you need to find a placebo pill for your change. Like, will carrots maybe make your waist smaller? Or avocado make your hair grow? Or limiting dairy make your acne go away? You can find a placebo pill by searching natural home remedies for whatever it is you're trying to change. And then just believe that whatever you're doing is working and it's going to work. It's science. Step five is to begin to behave as if this change has already occurred. If you wanted to lose weight or go down a size or even go up a size, 
start buying clothes in those sizes. I've heard success stories from women who bought bigger bras and stuffed them and wore them and like emphasized their chest to imprint a vision of themselves with bigger or better breasts. What would happen is that these women actually experienced physical changes or if they didn't then they suddenly came into money or came into the means to get the surgery for whatever it is that they wanted. So prepare your life for that change. But remember that the most important way to prepare is to prepare emotionally. What we actually want when we want to change our experience is the feeling that looking that way is going to give us. So this is a very powerful law of attraction technique and I tell you guys this in all my videos. Do something that makes you feel happy and confident so that you can align your vibrations with whatever change it is you want to make. Spoil yourself, speak nicely to yourself, and take good care of yourself just as you would when you get that physical change. Step six is so important, do not overlook this. Start appreciating the quality that you want to create in yourself and other people instead of envying it. So for example, if a girl you know on Instagram has this amazing body that you want, instead of scrolling through her pictures on Instagram and feeling jealous and badly about yourself, start to feel joy and excitement because you're aligning yourself with her or his reality thereby creating that change in your life. Take this a step further by beginning to compliment people who have this attribute and complimenting that specific thing. If you know somebody who you love their hair and you wish your hair was more like them, compliment them on it. That compliment will make you and the receiver of the compliment feel so good, creating positive vibrations between you two and pushing this manifestation to actually happen. And the final step is step seven, it is to release resistance you have to stop beating yourself up for the way that you look now. You have to accept and love yourself. And then you have to visualize like you look the way that you want, like step two, and appreciate yourself and love yourself and accept yourself in that way also. If you're beating yourself up for not looking a certain way, you're just focusing on not looking that way and you're just gonna look more the way that you don't want to look. Being sad about how we look or talking down to ourselves is just going to drag out this process much longer. If a change isn't manifesting for you, then something is holding you back from it and what you need to do is to look deep and figure out what story you're telling yourself or others that's holding you back. For example, if you want to be thin, you can't keep talking about how fat you are or thinking how fat you are or being horrible to yourself in that way. Thinking lovingly about your body will help shape you into your goal. Though there is nothing wrong about wanting to look better, I want to stress that self-love, as always, is the most important thing. You are already perfect. You glow and gleam from every cell of your body. You're divine. That being said, there is a reason why the plastic surgery industry takes in billions annually. People are dissatisfied. So before you rush to get that surgery or those injections, try to use the power of your mind, the law of attraction, coupled with a healthy dose of self-love, and start watching yourself change physically in front of your eyes. People will start complimenting you and you're gonna feel it even more. Also, if you don't know exactly how you wanna change but you just want to be more attractive overall, smile more and learn how to be confident in who you are as a person. You will become irresistible to everybody. The universe knows what you think is attractive so you will become better looking in your own eyes as well. My loves, I'm going to be uploading a blog with a lot more information about this topic. If you haven't seen the website already, uh, make sure you log on. It's livinglovely.com. I'll put it down below and sign up, register. A ton of people are already over there talking in the forum. There are already helping each other manifest and we have inspiration over there and what we're grateful for make sure you go sign up and subscribe so I can send you those blogs straight to your mailbox good luck and have fun with this and remember whenever you say it's not working or whenever you give up you're literally just putting yourself 10 steps back so many people have told me and have said this on YouTube and in books that just as you've said that it's not working you were nearly there but you put a solid barrier between you and your desire. So just stop thinking that it's not working. I hope this helped you guys, and remember that I love you so much, just the way that you are. Until my next video, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye.